My apologies, I just got her off the water. She's a little dirty, uh, but I'm prepping her for next weekend's uh, tournament. But uh, I'm gonna quickly go over how I rig the power with a 100 amp lithium battery uh, using the Yak Power switch relay um, and 250 amp Yak Power switch relays. So from the bow to the stern, let's go over it. Let's look inside. So how do I have it wired? Okay, let's take a peek inside here. So I tried to pretty this up a little bit. You can only do so much with this limited space, uh, but I've got a piece of hard plastic that's mounted on or glued, hot glued on some uh, styrofoam. That gives it the uh, illusion that it's some sort of, uh, I don't know, organization going on here. Otherwise it'd just be a mess of wires. Um, so basically you have a 100 amp battery here, uh, lithium, you actually, which is 26 pounds. Then you have the Yak power switch that has five connections that come off of it. And then you have two 50 amp relays. Now, the way the XI is actually ran is that the, the positive side or the power side that feeds the, uh, from the 100 amp battery to the trolling motor does not go through the Yak power switch. That can only handle 15 amps max, okay? Now, same thing on the stern where I have the micro power pole anchor um, ran. Um, the positive or power runs directly through the relay to the battery. It does not go through this 15 amp switch by Yak Power. Again, it would draw too much and then interrupt the other items that are attached to your boat or kayak in this case. So how's it ran? So you have the positive lead coming off the XI3, comes to the relay, and then from the relay goes directly to the battery. Um, the actual negative goes directly to the XI3, same thing for the micro power pole. The negative lead goes directly to the battery. Um, the only difference here is that the uh, connections that come off the Yak power device there um, are actually coming off of here. You can see that cable there. That cable there goes to an SAE plug, which basically plugs into one of these inputs. Um, what that does is that breaks the positive feed from the battery to the trolling motor with this relay. Now it's an automatic relay switch. So what does that mean? It means that if it draws over 50 amps, which the power, I'm oh, sorry, the motor guide is rated at 52 amp max. So what does that do? If it goes over 52 amps, or in this case, 50 amps, it'll flip it and then enable it again. So um, everything should still have a, a 50 amp breaker um, or sorry, a 60 amp breaker, which came with the unit uh, fuse, 60 amp fuse that came with the unit. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this in one take, but a 60 amp fuse and then the uh, power pole has a 15 amp fuel, fuse on the actual positive lead going straight to the battery, okay? So what that allows you to do um, in this case, um, if you come up here, I'm gonna put the bin back in, bin in. Um, come over here, and again, excuse the mess, uh, I just got off water yesterday. That allows you to come here, and then you can power on your devices. And in this case, I have number one going to all my USB ports. Number two are the navigation lights, right? You see those go off. Uh, then you have bow, midship, and stern. The bow is a trolling motor. I'm not gonna enable that because it's not even connected now. Um, then I have midship, which is a fish finder, and then the stern. So only the bow and the stern are directly connected to the 100 amp battery. But again, they go through that relay that is broken by, that, uh, by the Yak 50 amp relay, the Yak power relays. And that is pretty much it. Press the power on button. And we have power. So let's go ahead and test power to the bow. So I'm gonna push B and you see the bow motor has power. Now we'll press midship for the fish finder. Come over here, you push that and then you have to actually push that and you see it's coming on. So the fish finder is wired through there. Now let's go for button number one that actually activates the USB ports. So there's one here right and there's one over here so i just tested each one that's the reason why it's over here and you can see i have a little gopro here so do we have power and we do have power see so right now everything is on 
Um, you can come over here. Actually, uh, not everything is on. One last item. And it is number, the stern, I should say, which is the rear of the boat. This is the power anchor. And if I push this, you'll see if I hold it down, a full battery. Um, then you can see raise anchor up, push the anchor down, all that good stuff. Then we're gonna come over to the very last thing. And that are the uh, navigation lights. So there they go. And there they go. And there they go. And you can get the pointer up there too. But uh, that's it.